boys and girls, it's time for science story time. And today we're going to read one of Miss Jennifer's favorite books, Apples and Pumpkins. And this book was written by Ann Rockwell and her daughter, Lizzie Rockwell, did the illustrations, the pictures. When the red and yellow leaves are on the trees, We go to Comstock Farm to pick apples and pumpkins. Mr. Comstock gives us a bushel basket to put our apples in. Geese and chickens and a big fat turkey walk with us to the orchard where the apples grow. My father picks apples, my mother does too. I climb a little tree and pick the biggest, reddest apples of all. When our basket is full of shiny red apples, we go to the field where the pumpkins grow. I look and look and look until I find the perfect pumpkin. My father cuts it from the vine. I carry it back to the car. At home, we carve a jack-o'-lantern face on the big pumpkin. Then we light a candle and put it inside. It makes our jack-o'-lantern look silly and scary at the same time. The end. Today we're going to talk about fingerprints. You know what fingerprints have to do with apples? I'm going to show you how to use fingerprints to do an apple craft. But first, let me show you a fingerprint. Did you know at the, at the tips of your fingers, you have little patterns that are like really swirly kind of lines? They're hard to see. So I am going to show you a giant blown up picture of a fingerprint. Are you ready? Do you see that big fingerprint? And do you see those swirly lines? Now look at your fingers. Do you kind of see line patterns on your fingers? Maybe a little bit. They can be hard to see, but sometimes if you make a fingerprint on paper and you look at the paper, it's a little easier to see the lines. So we're going to make an apple tree today. Now, when you do a craft with fingerprints, it's very important you use plain paper. If you use marker or crayon, you're not going to be able to see the fingerprints. What good. Now, I used colored paper, brown paper, and green paper that I had to make the tree. But if you don't have paper in these colors, I'm going to show you a different craft a little bit later on that you can do on white paper. So I'm going to use a washable marker to make my fingerprints. But if your grown-up has a washable ink pad, you can use that as well. Just make sure that you ask your grown-up because some markers and some ink pads are washable and some are not. And also your grown-up might not want your fingers to be red. So I am going to take the washable marker and take a finger and I am going to draw on the finger with the marker. And then I am going to push the marker right on the tree and make an apple. And you won't be able to see it on the camera, but when I look really, really close, I can see the lines and swirls. And you'll be able to do that if you see it at home. Um, now I'll do another one. That one's, that one you can't even see because the marker dried. You have to keep re-inking. I'm going to do a pinky one this time. I'm going to draw on my pinky and make a line. That made a good apple. It even looks like the apple has a stem. And that gave me an idea. I'm gonna go back and draw a stem on my other apple, even though it didn't appear. And now I'll do one with my thumb. Wow, 
that's a cool, I can really see the pattern in my thumb. That's really cool. All right, so that's how you can make an apple tree. And you might not have colored paper. You might only have white paper. Remember that a lot of times our junk mail is blank on one side and we can use it for our art. So what you can do is you can make a bunch of apples and then you can put a basket or a bowl underneath to hold your apples. Just like in the book, remember the farmer gave them a basket to hold their apples in. So I'm gonna make an apple print with my pinky and an apple print with my pointer finger and an apple print with my thumb pin. And now I have my apples and I will draw a little basket or a bowl underneath that will hold my apples. And at home, you'll be able to make more apples in your basket or on your tree. I don't want to go too long because that would make the video boring, right? And we don't want to be bored. Okay, so I hope, boys and girls, that you and your grown-up are able to do an apple craft at home. Just make sure you ask them to help you. Don't just go do it on your own. And make sure your grown-up hits like and subscribe and if they hit the notification bell that will tell them about every single science story time and you won't miss any of them i will see you next time boys and girls bye